Hey Vangabonders, in this episode you're going to watch us install a solar panel. And also, we're quickly approaching 5,000 subscribers, so make sure to stay connected with the channel and subscribe. So I decided to use the mounts that came with the Renogy solar panel kit because I figured they would easily mount to my wooden roof rack. Now if you're curious to see how I made that roof rack, you can check out the link in the description for the episode where we built it. Once I positioned it around the area where I wanted it, I just screwed it directly into my roof rack. The next thing I had to figure out was how to route the wires to the inside of the bus. I figured I'd use the original vent. Since there was already a hole in the roof and I wouldn't have to make one, it seemed like the best route. I have to move your roof back. Unfortunately, it was rusted to the roof and Seth had to come and break it off. That works. Thankfully though, Seth had an extra one. Then came time to modify the sink. Now this is the original sink from a 75 model I believe, and it didn't go in the same place as it's supposed to go in my model. So I shortened the back end of it so it would push up a little bit closer to the passenger seat and give us more room to move around. The next day, after it had rained quite a bit, we decided to fix the hole in the roof a bit. So I wire wheeled some of the rust off, taped off the edges, and sprayed it with some rust inhibitor. Now this is only a temporary fix as the rust is not dead, but like I said, we'll be leaving on this trip in 15 days, so it needs to get done. Then I had Bailey feed the wire through the hole in the roof and down the headliner. This is a lot easier to do with someone helping you. Then it was time to mount the charge controller. I'm using the Wanderer that came with the kit. I mounted it on the inside of my cabinet and I was pretty happy with the fit. Now as per the instructions, the first thing that you need to attach is the battery always connect the battery to the charge controller before the solar panels. As you saw, the battery I'm using is the Mighty Max battery and it's a 100 amp hour battery. Then came time to reinstall the cap. Then I had Seth help me mount the roof rack back on. And I zip tied the cables to the roof rack for a cleaner look. I ran the wires down the pillar and I fed them down into my cabinet. Now once the battery is connected, your solar charger will turn on. Now before connecting the solar panel, I covered my solar panel with a cardboard box so that no light would come in and it wouldn't be producing any current. Always have a trusty multimeter on hand and test your voltage before and after. If everything's wired up correctly, your battery should be charging. So if you liked that video, make sure to hit the like button below and subscribe to the channel because in 15 days, we're touring the United States in this thing. The next episode, 
You're going to watch us install some of the electronics and wire it up. So make sure to stay tuned. We have social media. Check it out. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs> Gosh, and blow this. Gosh, and blow this. <laughs> this is all the Gosh, and blow. This is our recording studio. <laughs> that ain't very well. I love you. <laughs>